Valorant is a great game, make no mistake, and this isn't a video that aims to devalue what it brings to the table. Instead, we're looking at aspects that Riot can improve on to make the Valorant experience much more enjoyable. Hey guys, it's Agwick, and I'm talking about what Valorant needs right now. If you like this vid, please consider subscribing. So with that out of the way, here's my list of features Valorant should add. I'll be doing it in random order as I don't think it's fair to prioritize one thing over another given that we don't know the dev's workload. Number 1 is a shorter unrated mode. While unrated is great and spike rush is cool, I feel like there needs to be a mode that isn't as casual as spike rush but doesn't require the time commitment that a full game entails. This is something that's been asked for on the r Valorant subreddit and many players have echoed the sentiment that sometimes they just don't have the time to play a full game and that's completely fine. You could make it so that it's first to seven and have it play out like a normal half with players switching on round six. But speaking of modes, I also want to address the current state of deathmatch. I feel like deathmatch has too many players actively trying to win and not using it for its intended purpose. It's just not that fun to play DMs right now, especially for warmups. To fix this, I suggest making respawns instant like the pre-match phase and also removing health packs. I think kills should restore HP and that the deathmatch lobby shouldn't end so that players can just hop in and hop out when they're done warming up or practicing. This will not only improve the amount of engagements we have in a session but also disincentivize campers and shift walkers. Next is probably my most requested feature which is an appear offline or invisible mode. Now. I know that there are third-party applications that allow you to do this, but I just don't feel comfortable downloading something and I'd rather have it natively in the client. There have been so many instances where I just want to play the game without anyone bothering me, and I feel like many others share this sentiment judging by how well my tweet did. Also, follow me on Twitter, yeah? Okay. Now, probably the most beneficial feature for competitive players would be a replay system. Currently, the only way to record your gameplay is through third-party applications like Shadowplay or OBS, and that's not an option for a lot of players, especially if their PCs can't handle it. I think this is a feature that should have shipped with the game, and I'm honestly quite surprised that we don't have it yet, one year into Valorant's lifespan. Also, knife kills. Knife kills need to give more credits. I know people want the ability to choose maps, but I don't think that's a great idea at this point in time. The map pool is still fairly limited, and this could lead to players getting good at certain maps and climbing the ladder that way. Maybe when the pool gets a bit bigger, but I still don't see Riot implementing this. I've also talked about the Radionite system and how I think it's garbage, but that's a topic I've already covered. Instead, maybe give us an option to choose different skins for different sides. Like, I'd have my Prime Vandal on attack, and maybe my Reaver Vandal on defense. I think it's just a really cool way for players to showcase more skins, and an overall nice quality of life change. Lastly, Valorant probably needs a dating app as well with the amount of kids looking for No, but really, just remember that this is just my opinion. I think Valorant is doing a great job with their game and although there are some issues, it's still really, really polished. Anyway, what do you guys think? What changes would you like to see in Valorant and do you think my suggestions are good for the game? Also. If you have any comments about the topic, I'd love to hear them down below. Thank you so much for 129k subscribers. This is Agwick, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.